Three, two, one. Welcome to the second episode of Beer Booze with B Rad. All right, we all know. Let's get drunk with B Rad. I thought I'd change the name because I got tired of people thinking I was always drunk. I guess either that or it's my personality, one of the two. Or I don't know. I may fucking change it back. I don't know. Just toying around with it. Don't know yet. All right. I've got another. Oops, cameraman. Um, I've got another um, Colorado beer for you today. Uh, Mexican style lager. Um, and I was kind of excited. The uh, little this. Uh, Brewer actually had a little bit of information on their website, and they're out of Denver, Colorado, not too far from where I'm at. Well, it is, but, you know, I, uh, you know, road trip, you know what I'm saying? Plus, you know, um, need to get out every once in a while, uh, take that road trip. Um, I've got for you today, and I, and I love telling you and that's the whole purpose is you know i worked in a bar for fucking 15 years of my life and uh there's just nothing like a good story um and what i'm trying to do is share stories with you about the breweries that craft the beers and you know i try to drive that truck down the road to get you to a beer destination that you're gonna fucking enjoy and uh, of course you know the best beer is free beer your beer and the beer that you like to enjoy at the end of the day and um I'm going to say, man, uh, I don't know because I'm in Kansas, but I, I come across a lot of really good uh, Colorado beers, man. I'm really, truly impressed. But if you want to go head to head, I'd, I'd uh, right here in Kansas, we got a lot of talent and I'd put any of those breweries up against uh, uh, the other state breweries. But you know what? There's no need for that, man. There's enough beer drinkers in the world. Everyone could share the wealth. Everyone could have multiple favorites of beer. That's what's so great about this. You know, I'm giving you my opinion, but my opinion really, you know, you may drink the beer and you may not like it, okay? I'm just trying to help you. Maybe if you like a Mexican-style lager, maybe get you to that uh, good Mexican-style lager. If you don't like a Mexican-style lager, then you probably want to stay away from the Mexican-style lager. If you like stout, maybe I can get you to a stout. Uh, a Pilsner, you know, uh, an IPA, a double IPA, you know, you never know. I mean, the combination and the, the craft breweries are just, uh, there, there's a lot, a lot to choose from. And there's no wrong and rights with this. I mean, it's your opinion. And if you like it, then don't let anyone change your mind. You know, that's what, you know, you drink this beer, you have some good times. I had some good times. When I worked the 15 years in the bar and uh, I constantly heard stories, one story after another after another. That's what, you know, you have a few cocktails, everyone comes together, you know, and then, of course, you have the douchebag at the end of the night that wants to start a fight. Arr, and that's when I came in. Crack some skulls. All right. We have Renegade Brewing Company out of Denver, Colorado. And... One gallon of beer equals one gallon of water. Each gallon of Renegade beer purchased uh, provides one gallon of safe water to person in need. So, like I was telling you, with some of these breweries, you know, look, they are taking, you know, they're selling a gallon of beer and they're they're donating, you know, a gallon of drinkable water to areas that don't have drinkable water. And sometimes that's a problem when a hurricane or something comes through. You know, you don't have, yeah, you're surrounded by water, but it's not drinkable water. Okay, so, you know, this company comes in, or it could be a third world country that don't have drinking water, okay? I mean, it could be anywhere, you know, but they're 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 going toe for toe. They're selling a gallon of beer, and they're giving a gallon away to charity, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. I love hearing these stories. And um, the story for this beer goes back to 2005, starting off as a dream. Kara buys Brian a Mr. Beer Brewing Kit, home brewing kit for Christmas. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I just got done eating some Cheetos and they're stuck in my teeth. Urgh. Never do that before you start filming a beer episode. 
So, uh, Kara comes home one day after uh, Brian decides to turn the refrigerator into a kegerator. And uh, that didn't that went over like a fart in a space suit. And uh, apparently quickly after that, he had to get on Craigslist to replace the refrigerator. Bad Brian. Okay. Brian soon after that visits uh, Dogfish Brewery and discovers that, hey, there's a lot more to this than just a dream and some passion. Okay. So then he gets this book about how to brew. And... Uh, then he starts, uh, he puts together a business plan, he finishes that business plan. Um, uh, so in 2011, so it took him 2005 to 2011, was that six years uh, to get um, to get to where he actually put a lease down on a building that 2011, I think it was June 2011, he sold his first beer. So it took six years time span, that, that's not a... That's not a long journey, but it's not a short journey neither. And especially when you're start, starting from scratch and you've got to put together something like a business plan. I have no clue how to put together a business plan. I just bought my first brewing kit and I haven't brewed any beer yet. And when I do, I'll share it with everybody and, uh, you know, I'll choke on it and maybe die. Who knows? Or, man, maybe I can be a, a brewmaster at uh, Idiots R Us Brewing Company. Um... I, uh, let's, uh, let's get on with this. Uh, let's look at the, look at the can. Okay. Now I just have the tap for tap on the water. All right. I, I like it. You know, it's got like a little gecko or a lizard, you know, kind of, you know, uh, Mexican stylish, I guess. Um, you know, it's got a little hop there. Um, this is a, uh, this is a wrap. You know, vinyl wrap that's been real popular with uh, craft breweries. Uh, I love the artwork. It's colorful. It's uh, simple. It catches my eye. Uh, Renegado. Mexican style of it. Renegado. I'm sorry. I'm butchering that all to hell, but I don't get paid for this. So, okay. Renegado. I'm trying to say it correctly. All right, so there's a story behind the brewery uh, and the guy who created it. Uh, that's pretty. That's a pretty nice story, and I like the way they're giving back to the community. And like a lot of breweries, um, they uh, are like you know they use solar power, they recycle stuff like that. I mean that's just that's good for the community, good for everybody. Plus, you know, creating some jobs because someone's got to deliver that water. All right, on their can, their logo, I'm going to give a 4-0 on their logo. All right, you know, this is a lager. The heads, uh, you know, I tilt it and everything, but, you know, it's not, it's got some large, medium-sized bubbles. It's dissipating pretty quickly. Um, and I, I think, to me, that's kind of common in a lager. Uh, that's just my opinion uh, when you pour lagers. Uh, it's just kind of like that. You know, you pour fucking Budweiser. It does that. Um, it looks like it has, has good color. It's nice and golden and clear. Um, let's, uh, I'm going to give the head a 2.8. I'm going to give the color. The color is a great color for a. got like a hoppy but it tastes like a lime lime taste on the back end maybe um, very subtle um, little to no aftertaste it does taste like a authentic Mexican lager um, I believe they said the recipe something about 1917 I'd search it out whether they have a recipe from 1719 or 1917 but uh it's smooth, man. It's uh, it's an actual, I believe this is seasonal for them. We're coming to the end of the season. So if you're going to go out and get some of the Renegado Mexican style lager, I'll go do it because it'll come to an end. And uh, it's, it's a nice summer day. Uh, I, I don't feel it's a strong go-to beer, but it'd be something uh, like if you had your go-to beers and, you know, 
you want to put a little variety in there there's nothing wrong with that and it's something i could probably keep in the fridge you know come home drink one you know have a six pack and just keep on doing that all week long you know it's just not something i want to sit down and uh just have one right after another but it's nice it's flavorful it's smooth it's 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 kind of light actually i mean all right you're in denver colorado maybe you're at one of the smoke em ups you know because it's legal in colorado and there was this marine brother of mine right and, you know his name's casey and uh he, he you know he's damn me he doesn't the best beer is free beer and your beer and of course whatever beer you'd like to enjoy at the end of the day but casey's trying to get a free beer so he's going to challenge you Oh, the taste on this. I'm going to give this taste a 3.5. So we have the head at, uh, what do I give it, 2.8. The color, 4.0. The taste at a 3.5. All right. Now, I've created what's called the Chug. I call the Chug Ability. Chug Abilities, you know, hopefully going to be an unfair advantage. Um, I'm going to do the work for you. That way you have an unfair advantage against Casey. Maybe that'll tell you, hey, I can get this down. I could beat Casey. Arr! I don't want to buy that jackass a beer. All right. So Casey comes walking in. Arr! You know, and that son of a bitch may have a parrot on his shoulder. I, I've seen weirder things coming from Casey. Trust me. Uh, we've done a lot of beer drinking together. And uh, one day he did. He had a pirate jacket and it had a fake parrot on there. Um, yeah, go figure where the hell he just popped it out of nowhere, it seems like. Um, so, I'm going to do the guesswork for you. All right, let's get on with this. Check the bill of tip. Just nice and smooth. Has a nice, like, light lime taste would be even better as if they had just a little bit of salt maybe to this recipe then we had the lager the lime just a pinch of salt you know kind of you know i don't know just you know how people like to put salt in their beer i think this would be a good beer to put a little pinch of salt salt in just my opinion uh you do what you want of course it's what you like, man. Let's not fight over this. Let's uh, have a drink uh, and have some good times. That's what this is all about. Beer booze with your host, of course, B Rad. I like it. I like it. Um, if you're in Denver, Colorado, go by Renegade Brewing Company. Tell them B Rad sent you, of course, and you have yourself a beer, and hopefully you won't have to buy Casey a beer. All right. Arr! All right. This is a part of my 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 show that I like to uh, pay tribute to the men and women as a veteran. Um, I like to pay tribute to the men and women that sacrifice all for this great country. And something I forgot at the beginning of this, because I'm switching things up a little bit. If you're going to drink, don't drive. If you're going to drive, don't drink. And something near and dear to my heart, 22 veterans died daily to PTSD suicide. So if you know someone suffering PTSD, reach out to them. Give them a smile. Give them a hug. Give them a call. I give them a text message, email, Facebook, whatever. Take them out to lunch. Take them out for a drink. Acknowledging that person could save their life. All right. I'm not too embarrassed to say I suffer from PTSD. And, you know, what makes me smile is just someone waving their hand and saying hello. And sometimes, you know, I get in a rut, you know. And, man, it, it picks me up. You know, so it's like, hey, that person, you know, hey, they took the time just to do this or do that. It doesn't take much. You know, let's, uh, let's not let this disease, uh, get any more of our veterans or anybody else for that fact. All right. For the men and women that sacrificed it all for this great country. I love America and I hope you love America too. Arr. All right. We got Veteran owned and operated America Berman. I still probably got a few more swigs of that, and we'll probably be doing that until I get my scotch. And I'm still wanting to do a guest with this. So I don't know, maybe my friends at Aeroplanes Brewery, if they they probably stop watching these videos because I put out quite a quite a few of them, and I don't expect them to watch every single freaking time. But I do appreciate them recognizing and hitting the like button every now and then. 
Troy, Gunny Lance, uh, Casey, uh, JBR, and uh, Brad, the bartender up there. Thank you guys very much. Thank you for watching my humble show. And the men and women sacrificed it all for this great country. Urgh, America, motherfuckers. And of course, chest pull wherever you are. Alright, I had a bad reaction with that one. It started to go down the wrong way. I mean, um, actually, this whiskey was featured on one of my favorite YouTube channels, uh, Whiskey Vault. Those two guys really know their shit. And uh, it is a bourbon that's really not, really not too strong. I think, you know, you can just sit and enjoy it and sip on it. Or you can mix it with a Coke or whatever mixer you want to mix it with. It's a good product. Better known and operated. So, thank you Scott Lossky. Uh, Brad Lance, of course. Uh, Casey Patch, the one I give shit to every day. I miss you, motherfucker. I miss all my Marine Corps brothers. Ricardo Castro, Corey Locke, uh, Ruiz, Reyes, uh, Schroeder. Um, all you guys, all the guys I served with, and of course, you know, my Marine Corps brothers, Massimo, and uh, everyone here in Wichita that I've, uh, Lynn Johnson, Irona, Irona, uh, Marine Corps sisters, thank you, thank you ladies for watching this, and uh, thank you my family, I want to say I love you, Tan and Isabel, my two granddaughters, I love them very much, and uh, they're the best things that happen to me uh, besides their moms and uh, my wife, Rebecca. So, thank you guys very much. Thank you for watching this episode of Beer Booze with B Rad. And of course, please subscribe. Thank you, Stony Vineyards, for watching. I gotta thank you guys. I appreciate you hitting the like button, send me out messages, man. It is very appreciated. Of course, this is. <clears throat> Beer channel, right? Simplify, motherfucker.